Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, we're going to go through a manual installation of company mode. I haven't done this before, but let's try it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually take, I'm going to copy the address of this GitHub repository for company mode here, and I'm going to open up a terminal, and I'm going to clone it into dot uh, emacs dot d into that directory into another directory called packages uh, into another directory called company. So I'm going to go ahead and clone that. Okay, so that's all done. So let's close this out. I'm going to fire up emacs here and go to my init dot el, and I'll make this a little bit larger for you. And I'm going to go down here and add another path. So I'm going to add the path uh, company here, OK? And I'll delete to the end of that and just make a comment that I'm adding that path, OK? Um, we know we have a lot of these .el files there. And so we can also go to this page. And we see that we can install it from Elpa. But um, we can also install it manually, which is what we're doing. So we want to be able to use it in all buffers. So let's add this hook here. And we may have to say require company, but we'll see. And we may have to add some other lines as well. Let's go down here and let's make a um, just comment here. This is for company. And let's paste this and let's save and close. And then let's restart. And we may get some errors and then we'll fix them as we go. This is recording. No errors. OK. Um, so let's see. Well, we did get a symbols function as void global company mode. OK. So. Let's go to Dear Ed here and let's go into our .emacs.d into our packages and let's go into company here and let's just take a look at this. So company.el, okay. So we may need, let's see, we're requiring P case and sub R dash X. So let's just take a look at this here and see if any of that, we need any of that. Well, we, we would need company CSS if we're doing a CSS file. Um, let's try something. And what I'm going to do, I'll make this larger for you and we'll move this up to the center and I'll, Add add to list and then uh, a load path. And then we're going to add, um, it's going to be, let's see, ch -ch 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 -ch. company. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, .emacs.d slash packages slash company. Okay, so that's going to be our load path that we're going to add. The other thing, let me go up one and let me try in my init.el. Um, maybe I need to add require company. I'm not sure. Okay. All right, let's quit and let's start up and we'll see if we get some errors now. Okay. And it doesn't look like we have any errors. Let's create a file and see if this file is working. So let's um, do let's do find file. Let's do a test.css. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is body, and then let's see if company mode company mode is disabled. So it was turned on company mode. Let's enable it. So we'll do background. Okay, so now it's working. So background color. So it is working. We have installed this successfully. Um, and we can go ahead and do our background color as white like it normally would be. But 
you know, we've got this company mode completion in this file. So that's how I would install that one manually. Everyone is different. Now, this was my first time going through it. So you might have seen me pause and go, hmm, I, I don't know what to do next because everyone's a little different. But what I did is I wrote up an art article on my blog here, Unkert Media, on installing some packages manually. And I went through the process for a, a couple different packages. I'll put uh, this on the screen, the address to this. It's unkertmedia.com, how to install packages manually. Emacs, again, I'll put that on the screen. Um, so we go through here, and I go through some process of installing some basic themes, then Groovebox, um, then a few other, uh, it's still themes, but Groovebox has a bunch of variants, so it gets a little bit more difficult. Then I go through manually installing, do mode line, some of the dependencies for that. And then at the end, I talk about backing up your configuration. If we look at the uh, table of contents, these are the packages that I've installed. So uh, the themes, Material, Dracula, some more complex themes like Groovebox, and then some non-theme packages like web mode, dash, uh, dashboard package, and doom mode line. And then again, backing up your configuration on GitHub. Uh, so if you don't want to use Melpa or Elpa or non-GNU Elpa, this is how to install packages manually. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.